Good morning. This is the Pink City or Old Pink City, the capital of Rajasthan, Jaipur. Jaipur is known as the Pink City after Maharaj Ram Singh decided that all buildings must be painted pink, a symbolic gesture and hospitality in preparation for a visit by Queen Victoria from Great Britain. The city has many forts, many temples, wildlife, palaces, and of course, bazaars. Well, being in the pink city, you learn that most things are pink. Even the buses are pink. <laughs> Even the men wear pink t-shirts and pink trousers. I've seen so many people wearing pink here. It's not a symbol of feminism to all those naughty you guys in the West. It's, a, it's an amazing feeling when you're here. That's an orange bus, pink bus over there. The only problem here is the rickshaw or tuk-tuk drivers, they never leave you alone. This is the pink bus. Tal Mahal, Tal Mahal. Tal Mahal? Jal Mahal 29. Oh, Jal Mahal. Okay, Jal Mahal 29. Thank you, sir. This Jal Mahal? Okay, how much is it? Only 10 rupees. Only 10 rupees? This bus conductor here, a good guy, he told me it's just 10 rupees. Most people have been quoting me hard red rupees. Always ask before you get on the bus. Jal Mahal. Oops, sorry. You coming? <laughs> bus driver, hello, sir. Not keen to share a smile. the famous Jal Mahal or Jal Mahal Palace right here in Jaipur. It was built in 1750 by Mahara Jai Singh II and it's in the middle of Mansagar Lake. The building itself is made of sandstone because Rajasthan is known for sandstone buildings. On a clear sunny day, Jal Mahal seems to be floating in the middle of the lake.
Amba Fort is another beauty of Jaipur. Amba Fort is also known as Amba Palace. Tal Mahal is only four kilometers away from Amba Fort. You can take the bus for 10 rupees from Tal Mahal main road to Amba Fort. There are a few things you can do in Jaipur. Most sightseeing places in Jaipur or across India requires an entrance fee. Foreigners normally pay between five and ten times of what Indian people pay. So do bear that in mind. First thing I will tell you is that there are many touts in Jaipur. When you pay your bus fare, always ask local people how much is the bus fare because some bus conductors, not all of them, some bus conductors has this tendency of doubling up the prices if you're a foreigner. Once they realize you cannot speak Hindi, then it means a quick payday. <laughs> so 20 rupees normally become 40, 50 rupees will become not 180. And they do have the cheek of ripping you off in front of so many of their locals. <laughs> there are a few things you could do here in Jaipur. You can visit places such as Arma Fort, but you have to pay a fee there. You can visit Hawa Mahal or Hava Mahal, Nahagar Fort, Jal Mahal, the City Palace, Jaigar Fort, surprisingly, the Albert Hall Museum. <laughs> it would be interesting if you're from the UK to visit Jaipur's Albert Hall Museum, then visit Albert Hall in London as well and compare. You can also visit Jantamanta, Bilamande, Chokidani and the Leopard Safari. Don't forget to visit Johari Bazaar, Bapu Bazaar and finally visit historic Hindu pilgrimage of Galtaji. It's also known as the Monkey Temple. Very busy. A busy, interesting day. Now going to Galtaji Temple or Galtaji Mandir. It's well known as the Monkey Temple in India. But there are so many cows. There's a monkey on the wall. And this is the entrance to Galtaji Temple. In Rajasthan, I visited the Ra Temple and now the Monkey Temple. They're just everywhere, these monkeys. Just like the rat temple where the rats are everywhere. Oh, you feed him a banana. Eat your banana. They are everywhere. <laughs> Monkeys all over the place. This is a proper monkey temple here in India. Ah. 
How many are here? Oh my God. They are not too scared of people, a little bit scared, but not a lot. Babies, adults. You enjoying your papaya? I mean, you're eating an apple. Hello? 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 Yes? Hello? <laughs> Going up the hill to the monkey temple, Galtaji temple. Greeted my monkeys on the way and they're friendly. They won't attack you, and if you give them some food, they'll be dancing about. They've got so much food. Look at all the bananas. The monkeys are not even bothering to eat these bananas, because they've got loads of food. She's full over there. And that's the main entrance. If you go straight on that road there, you'll see loads of pink buildings. Bandy Choke, it's over there. Galtaji temple, it's a Hindu temple up in the hills of Jaipur. And these temples have more monkeys than I have ever seen in India. You do see a lot of Rajasthan from the top of this temple. Namaste. Namaste, yes. Every temple in India, I've taken your shoes off. <laughs> Cameras allowed? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Namaste ji. Namaste. Namaste. Welcome to Sun Temple. Here you will see sun god, uh, left hand sun god Surya and right hand he is by Frenuka, together uh, 350 years old temple and my father priest here and I live here and there is also a statue of sun, here husband and wife and there is alone. This temple is famous because the first ray of the sun are come here and put on the face, that is a gold so more shining in the morning and uh, you know in India everywhere you will see millions of temple. But a uh, sun temple only two in India. First uh, in Konark, Odisha, and second this one. Only two. Only two temples. Yes. First is in uh, Konark, Odisha, East Konark, India. Oh, east of India. Yeah, east Konark, of Odisha. India. And second and this is, is Su Surya. Surya temple. Yeah, in Hindi so we call Surya. Okay, Galtaji. Galtaji. Galtaji is down. Yeah, far from this place. Okay. Yes. And here many people come for do a meditation mm -hmm. and maybe you will wait for, for seeing a beautiful sunset because this is the best sunset and sunrise point. Wow, and this is the monkey temple? No, here lot, uh, in the morning, here a lot of monkeys, like thousands of monkeys came. Yeah. That's why people call that monkey temple. Okay. Yes. Wow. And this is the center of Jaipur. You will see a whole Jaipur from this place. Oh, you'll see the entire yeah, Jaipur yeah. from here? Yes. Whoa. Oh, yes, the view is amazing here. The best way to explore Pink City is to take the metro. <laughs> Passengers are requested to take care of their loose items like sari, dubata, hobi, and etc. 
you can take the metro and get off at Choti Chopper and walk the entire old pink city. In some buildings you'll see monkeys up on the buildings and most buildings look amazing architectural piece of work. From the city centre of Jaipur you don't see as many pink buildings but once you take that metro and go to the two metro stations. My preferred one is Bandi Chopper. Walk towards the big circle or you can ask people uh, the way to Jal Mahal by bus and that way you will have the best experience of the pink city in Jaipur. For some reason, I seem to attract birds to poop on me. Oh, that way? I mean, out of so many birds, one just picked my arm and said, Doo -doo. You are the victim. <laughs> and loads of homeless people here near the World Trade Park. So many, um, they all look hungry and desperate. Some people giving them some food. So many pigeons. Look at the amount of pigeons. People just feeding pigeons here. I think the amount of children here who are homeless is painful. Look at that family, the entire family there, homeless. Look at all these gentlemen here. Ah, and that's the World Trade Park right there. I'm trying to find my way to the World Trade Park. Oh, we go around this way, World Trade Park. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Which way? This way? Oh, this way. Okay. Yeah, these ladies and their children and their husband, they are leading me on a very tricky path. They say this is the quickest way to the World Trade Park.
Ah, railway crossing. I'm ever so vigilant when I cross uh, this uh, railway crossings here in India. Because last time I tried to cross, I couldn't hear a train coming. And it was like six meters away from me when somebody shouted. And I look both sides and it was a train coming to crush me to death. This is gonna go into my into my documentary. You all from Rajasthan? Indian. Okay, Indian. Yeah. Okay, you have to go around. Wow. Oh, then no crossing. Yes, yeah, no crossing over there. Yeah, that's more difficult. Ah, oh, that's a well trade. Okay, there. Okay, thank you. This is the World Trade Park, a shopping mall that has six to seven floors and I am here to explore it. World Trade Park Mall is a very, very big mall and it's two buildings that are connected by a sort of a bridge but there's a, a short road underneath it. Here you find loads of Indian influences. The mall at World Trade Park is huge. Some famous brand, KFC, Briani Blues, all right. Normally in India, uh, cameras are not allowed in malls, but here, it's okay, I'm surprised. <laughs> 